So for my makeup today, I used a bunch of different eyeshadow palettes. I used the ColourPop Blue Moon. I used, let's see, ColourPop It's My Pleasure. I used ColourPop I Like You A Lot. I used ColourPop Smoke and Roses. I used a bunch of stuff. And for my lips today, I have on the Too Faced Melt It Matte in the shade My Type. And then I put this like glittery liquid lip on top from lime crime it's called the diamond crusher and it's in the shade over the rainbow these are really cool because they stay on like a liquid lipstick they don't like transfer and you get like this shimmery little lip moment i love it and yeah that is my makeup oh my lighting is being all weird but yeah that's my makeup for today i hope you guys are yeah, that is my makeup for today. I hope you guys are doing well. Listen, unless you're a COVID test or a pregnancy test, your negativity is not wanted here, okay? Listen, not everyone is gonna like me, and that's okay. I'm not for everyone. <laughs> like a handheld, so if you have it, let me know what you think of it. Looks awesome. <laughs> So I want to ask you guys, do you guys get any like makeup or beauty subscriptions? I signed up for Ipsy, the $13 one, and I'm excited because I'm going to get my first one in June. And it's cool because they will let you pick out one of the items that are in the bag. So that's super exciting. They'll like email you or you don't have to do it that way. You can just be completely surprised. But it's really awesome so if you know of any other really good makeup subscription bags let me know by the way i am so not ready for the series finale of this is us tonight i can't believe it's over with oh my gosh it makes me sad <laughs> so this is my outfit for today i just have a tank top on i think it's from target i just have some gray leggings on that are from Walmart and yeah that is my outfit they're like capri style leggings so but yeah outfit of the day <laughs> So I got the Seagate external hard drive for my Xbox Series S. I got two terabyte. I will put the link here so you guys can check it out. It works for all consoles. So check it out. You know what? I'm tired of people making me feel like I'm stupid and dumb and, you know, just being so rude. Now, if you don't like something I post, you don't have to watch it, but unfollow. Don't keep watching me if you don't like it. It's really, really simple. But with that being said, it is so heartbreaking what happened with the shooting. 14 students and teacher, I am so devastated over that. It's just so sickening and I just can't believe it. And people think I don't care, but I care so I care so much. I have a huge heart and people think I only care about myself, but you're not there when I'm on FaceTime with my friend for three hours. You're not there when I'm talking to my family. I struggle with anxiety and depression and there are a lot of things that I don't talk about or post because I like my social media to be happy and I don't like to talk about depressing things, but you know, another thing is people are like, are you posting about Xbox when, you know, this devastating thing is happening in the world? Well, I posted that story earlier and I'm not going to stop living my life because something terrible happened. That's not what I want to do. I'm just not going to, you know, dwell on things and stop living my life because horrible things happen in the world. Horrible things happen all the time. But I truly will never understand people on social media like what the hell is going through their head like I am so different than what people think I am like they have their own perspective of me that is completely opposite like I have such a big heart and I can't
care about so many things in the world. People think I only care about myself and, you know, it's so not true. And it's crazy how people just see one thing on social media and believe it. Like, but if you truly don't like me and you don't like what I post, you know, don't follow. Watch it. It's very simple. And it's my Instagram, so I should always be able to post what I want. No matter what. You know, if you had a problem with me, I am religious. Every night I pray. And I'm definitely going to be praying tonight about all those lives that were lost. And it's just a very horrible thing going on in the world. And I am very sad about it. And it's so sickening. And, you know, prayers... Prayers are needed for all those families that lost someone. So I'm usually a pretty strong person. I've been on YouTube and social media since 2007, since I was 17 years old. And I've gotten so many mean and hateful messages today and words do hurt and people are such like keyboard warriors. They'll say anything to destroy a person on the internet. They will say the meanest things and it's just horrible. I understand why some young teenagers have committed suicide over being bullied. Like people are cruel, people are sick and it is not right. It is not right at all. And I block anything negative someone sends me and I make it so they cannot create another Instagram account as well. People also wonder why I have anxiety and depression. No, it's not just because of things on the internet, but I'm sure it doesn't help. But I take medi medication for it, so I'm okay. Like, people are like, why do you have anxiety? Why do you have depression? You have good family. You have a good life. Like, that's just not the way it works at all. I ain't trying to fix her. I just want to kiss her if you will